Hey, so what's going on guys? Make it with Driven Tech Reviews and welcome back to another video. So it's been a while since I actually did a tech review or should I say like a case review. But anyways, today we have a simple and minimalist case from Bamplio. So they were kind enough to send out a couple of samples. So actually they did send out about three to four samples. I did have a pre-release version of this case for the iPhone 15 Pro Max. And actually that had some issues. That's the reason why I actually delayed this whole review. Because they actually did send this case out to me approximately one to two months back. And I was actually thinking of doing it for a Christmas uh, recommendation. So anyways, we are here two months later. And I've actually used this case for the last couple of weeks or I should say like almost one and a half months. So that I can actually give you guys an honest opinion of what I think of this case. This is a very minimalist case. As you can see, I've actually installed this on my 15 Pro Max. I've been rocking this case and I think that... Uh, if you are a fan of like minimalist style cases, this is definitely the way to go. Of course, some people do prefer uh, 360 protection. This is definitely not a 360 protection because this only provides protection for your camera lenses and the top and the bottom of your device. So they do make this case for a couple of models, of course, um, mainly for iPhones. This is actually the other color variant. Of course, I do like the black as usual, uh, but the one I have here is in another color. Okay, let's get on with the unboxing. So we have the branding definitely. And Plio, very simple. So I initially saw this case on the Instagram ad and I thought it was it's pretty interesting that a case I can just be slapped on. But I'll show you that in a moment because it's not so simple as just slapping it on because it's actually held on by adhesive. Okay, so anyways, this is actually the instructions on how to get this installed. They do provide um, back protectors as well as screen protectors. They did send a couple of screen protectors but I think that I'm on a privacy screen protector. And I'll be sticking with this one. But their screen protectors are not the 2.5D curve uh, edge screen protector. So that's something to keep in mind. Alright, so let's quickly just get into the unboxing. So of course you get the case. You get a couple of cleaning wipes. So the usual stuff. Alright, so this is in the purple colorway. As you can see right here. So we do have the top and bottom pieces. So you can see it's held on by 3M adhesive. Okay, so let's take a look at the top portion first. Okay, so this is actually a glass lens protector. So I had to take off my lens protector because if you are on a lens protector, you would definitely have to remove it. So the cutouts are actually honestly pretty good. I'll give you a close-up later on so you can see how it actually adheres or installs on your device. So they're all 3M backing. So you, when you take it off, they are not going to be any residue. So that's a good thing. So you can see right here, so it's actually the, this is the top portion where you actually have to align the camera module first and then just stick on the top portion. So at first it may be kind of scary because you only get one try. Once you screw it up, that's it, you, the case is gone. So it's a one-off case. Yeah, so there's something to bear in mind if you are using this for short term, definitely I recommend something that you can put on and off, something like a thin and clear case. But anyways, this is how it looks like. The lens uh, protector is actually held on pretty well in my testing. Okay, so this is actually their sort of like new colorway for the iPhone 15 series. Okay, on the bottom, you can see right here, this is actually the bottom piece. So all the cutouts are actually spot on. Of course, you can't see it here. This is the piece that is not installed. So it's also held on by 3M adhesive. Okay, so let's take a closer look at the unit which I'm actually rocking. So you can see right here, Let's take a look. Important is actually the camera cutouts, which are, in my opinion, really, really spot on. So I actually had the initial version of this case and that was really, really messy because the camera lens and the top portion weren't really aligned properly. So it was like both pulling on each other and uh, it was actually impossible to install. So I actually gave some feedback to them and they sent me uh, two more cases. This and this for me to actually test out. And I'm pleased to announce to you guys that this actually works flawlessly. The install process was super simple. Everything fit like a glove. So they took my feedback and actually revamped the whole alignment and the measurements and everything. And now it's actually really, really spot on. So a good job, Ben Plio, for actually listening to customer feedback. Or should I say reviewer feedback. Let's go you a closer look. This is actually a glass screen protector with the dust protection. So you can see right here, let me give you a closer look. Let me see, if get the camera to focus. Okay, it fits like a glove. Really, really nice. The iPhone 13 version actually did have some sharp corners here. So all the lint was actually getting stuck on the corners. But with this, it's really, really nice and smooth. 
I do have a skin of course as I mentioned earlier so the skin doesn't really help in like you know the handling and stuff like that but overall it just uh, helps to protect the exposed portions of the device so you can see right here really really nice so you get a very slight lip but of course it's protected by the camera module right here which also has a pretty generous lip you can see right here if you uh 360 view. So the mic and also the speaker cutouts are spot on. They're right in the center, so it doesn't affect my OCD. Right, so really, really nice. So you can see there's actually a pretty nice lip. This is with the tempered glass screen protector. See right here, there's actually a lip. And if you put it down on the table, you can see there's actually a lip right here. So when you put it down, it's going to be resting on the case itself. Okay, so this case is not going to give you uh, drop protection. Of course, it's more like uh, I should say scratch protection for your camera lens and also the top and bottom portions of your device so I got this skin you can see right here God, I actually did email them and ask them whether this case is compatible with the skin they say yes but you do have to apply the skin first before you is install the case so this is what I did of course I didn't put the skin protection for the camera portion because obviously this is adhesive and you would adhere to the skin and it will cause a big mess because all the tolerances are actually off but anyways, uh, I left the camera portion open because just installing the case on top of it and then I just stuck the skin on the exposed glass. So that's about it. You can see right here, doesn't have any issues with the edges because they are all a very, very nice fit. Even at the corners right here. So overall, very, very nice. And also the corners, you can see right here, it actually just slips in just exactly at the cut off and the antenna band the bottom as well so if you do want to get a skin definitely you can actually install a skin with this case so there's something if you like to customize your device definitely this is a very good case to start off of course you're going to be exposing the back to damage if you do drop it so you can check out the description if you're interested to pick one of these up of course i would recommend just picking the case up and then getting like a skin or something, I think that's a more durable option rather than getting the uh, back protector with the glass screen protector. I think both you can get elsewhere. I think this is a very good case if you do like to customize your device. You can stick on a carbon fiber skin or some other colored skins as well. But I said to go with this uh, sort of tear down skin because I think it gives this phone a nice uh, look compared to all the other iPhone 15s around. Alright guys, so this concludes our video. Hope you guys like it. If you did like it, do give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel for more content just like this one and I'll catch you guys in the next video.